Here at Peter McCallum Cancer Centre, we have been hearing lots of questions from patients with cancer about the COVID-19 vaccine. Peter Mac is Australia's sole public health service dedicated to the care of patients with cancer. This video answers some of the common questions people might have about the COVID-19 vaccines and has been made specifically for patients with a diagnosis of cancer, those undergoing cancer therapies, their carers and families. Just remember, this is general information only and you should speak to your doctor or specialist with regards to individual health advice. Our main message to patients, the vaccine is recommended for all Australian adults, including cancer patients. And we know that from other vaccines, patients with cancer are able to respond to vaccination. But how your immune system responds may be influenced by your own general health and by your cancer treatment. Steps that you've taken in the past to reduce your risk, such as physical distancing, hand hygiene, and wearing a mask, remain important even after you've been vaccinated. Patients who have had a bone marrow transplant, autologous or allogeneic, should still be vaccinated, but we recommend that that vaccination should be about three months or more after your transplant. The vaccination is also recommended for patients undergoing cancer treatment, but this needs to be carefully timed. Your doctor will be able to discuss this with you. For example, your doctor may recommend a particular time that the vaccination be given during your cancer treatment cycle. Any side effects from the vaccine have typically been mild and short-lived, like pain or redness at the injection site or a mild fever. If you are eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine, it is recommended that you get vaccinated as soon as possible. The vaccine will be available at hospital hubs, state vaccination hubs, selected GPs and community pharmacies. Whichever vaccine you are allocated, two doses are needed to provide the best protection against COVID-19. An annual seasonal flu vaccination is also generally recommended, but your doctor can provide advice on the best timing. Noting that there should be at least a 14 day gap between the COVID vaccine and the seasonal flu vaccination. We'll keep our website up to date. And of course, doctors will have these discussions directly with their own patients. The main takeaway points are vaccination against COVID-19 is safe and recommended in patients with cancer. Even if you're immune compromised, we expect that you'll receive some protection from the COVID-19 vaccine. And this is especially important when you're undergoing cancer therapy. Your doctor will help time the vaccination around your cancer treatment cycles. Keep a lookout for more information about when and where you can get your COVID-19 vaccine. And finally, the situation for every person is different, so it's best to discuss the risks and benefits of getting the COVID-19 vaccination with your own doctor.